Okay, so E3 2014 is in full swing. We've seen the press conferences. Now we got to talk about them. Yeah, I'm actually in Los Angeles, California for E3, and I'm freaking out. It's my first time, and it's crazy. And I get to see all the video games, and I'm freaking out. I was lucky enough to attend the press conferences. I saw the games. You saw them, too. So let's give it a rundown of what was cool and what I enjoyed. Now, okay, there are so many things. There's so much to digest, so if I miss something, I'm sorry. We'll talk about it in the comments. But for now, I'm going to get into what I liked from the Xbox conference, which was really good. Xbox was really smart, and they made it all about the games. They came out. They were just like, we're sorry. We're sorry. We love video games. We're only going to talk about video games. And it worked. It was absolutely awesome. We got to see Sunset Overdrive, which I think is going to be the big one that they're going to push soon because it's really cool. The gameplay looked kind of cool, uh, but the style, more than anything, interests me. It's like Scott Pilgrim. It's like a punk rock Scott Pilgrim, and it looks really cool. It looks like a lot of fun. We got to see some third-party stuff like Dragon Age Inquisition, which looks really awesome. It's actually the first Dragon Age game I'm like actually seriously interested in. We also got to see The Witcher 3, like just a battle with Geralt and a griffin. And it was like the greatest thing I've ever seen. It was so cool. It looked beautiful. It looked like so much fun. I just, I love The Witcher. Ah. Fable Legends popped up and not into it. Just not, you know, it, it's cool that the, the, the humor is still there from the Fable series. But I, the, the magic of Fable was that it was an RPG and you got to create your own character and explore Albion. So not really into it. We got to see some four player co-op Assassin's Creed story based missions, which seemed pretty cool despite the uninteresting protagonists. France looks insane. And, and killing people with your friends looks awesome. It's very all out, it's very action-y, it's very un y but it still looked like a lot of fun. You guys know how hyped I was for Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and I can totally see myself playing this one quite a bit. But the thing that made me actually jump out of my seat and scream was Crackdown 3. Bah, I mean, let's be honest, the little pre-rendered cinematic they showed wasn't really even that exciting, but just the fact that they're making a Crackdown 3 made me shit my pants. Uh, the original Crackdown was one of my favorite Xbox games, so... And Halo! Halo did a really good job. I'm really excited and I'm really curious. I, I love that video games, unlike movies, you know, video games are teased. You don't see the entire thing in a trailer. And, and, and Halo 5 did just that. It set up this whole thing tying in Halo Anniversary with Halo 5 that really hooked me in. I, I was asking questions about the story. I have no idea what's going on. I'm a little pissed we still didn't see Halo 5 gameplay, but they made up for it with the Halo Master Chief Collection, which is Halo 1 and 2 remastered and Halo 3 and Halo 4. This is all the maps. I think it's like 100 maps. Full Halo 2 multiplayer as it was in the original. 60 frames per second, 1080p, blah, 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 marketing buzzwords. It looks really cool, and I can't wait. I am gonna jump on that like white on rice. It's not even funny. As for EA and Ubisoft, EA actually is trying to get back the moniker of worst company ever because they did all this fucking stupid shit where they just showed uh, developer interview style documentary videos of these games that we came and we were so excited to see that were teased last year. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront. We didn't really. We got to see a guy at a computer rendering a stormtrooper. Cool. I mean, you know, it looks cool. It looks beautiful. I'm really excited. But I was expecting more, especially for Mirror's Edge 2. Uh, that was we. We've known about it. It was announced. We saw basically the same thing. We saw like super super early half baked alpha footage. We saw the the, the teaser with her getting tattooed and, and more documentaries of guys you know, coloring her pants red on a computer screen. I don't want that shit. I want to see the actual game. And Mass Effect 4. It's great that that's a thing, but I didn't really get to see anything from it. But, you know, as much as we didn't get to see anything, we can at least revel in the, the hype train. We, we can all buy tickets to the hype train because all aboard. What I really liked at EA's press conference was Battlefield Hardline. We saw it at Xbox and we saw it at EA. And I'm blown away. I'm completely hooked. I'm so all for it. I was a little burned with Battlefield 4. Battlefield Hardline looks like exactly what I wanted to play. It's just really exciting. It's like Bad Boys 2, the game. Just absolutely insane. Bank heist through downtown Los Angeles, which is where I am right now, which is kind of scary. It just looks like a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm so excited for it. As for Ubisoft, the coolest thing they showed was The Division. The Division is still incredibly impressive, and I'm really happy that they didn't tone down the graphics like they do with the watchdogs. Oh. Uh, it still looks really good, and it looks like a lot of fun. The level that they showed was right in Madison Square Garden, right in Midtown New York, and it looked pretty damn authentic. And the game still looks like a lot of fun. You know, shooting people is really cool. I'm a big fan of that. We also got to see a bit more of Assassin's Creed, which, like, you know, it still looks like more Assassin's Creed, and I'm still struggling with, like, how... I don't know, like, he, the, the main guy just seems so generic, it's just now they're just boring assassin guys. But just France looks so cool. The crowds of people, the revolution, the violence, 
it just looked really cool. I was, I'm, I'm really excited for that because because Assassin's Creed. Now, as for Sony, Sony, who I think, uh, you know, they did good. It was a little safe, but uh, overall, they had a good presentation as well, you know. Uh, most of it was stuff that uh, we've seen before, and it's also, a lot of it is not exclusive. A lot of it's going to be on PC and other things. But they came out right out of the gate with a big surprise, Little Big Planet 3, uh, which I'm excited for, but you can tell it's not being developed by Media Molecule. It's a little different, you know, there's new little play playable character, little other sack people. Uh, sack people. What I was really happy to see was Hello Games No Man's Sky. This is a game that we saw teased at something else. I don't remember what exactly. And it looked really cool. It was a big indie game that just had a ton of promise. Open world space exploration. Completely ambitious. And then Hello Games announced that they had a big studio flood and they were going to go back to work as soon as they could, but everything was ruined and they had to start from scratch or something. Uh, so I kind of wrote this game off, not expecting to see it pop up. And it came out in full force for Sony. I, I think Sony maybe gave them a ton of money or something uh, because it still looks absolutely fantastic. It looks absolutely incredible hopping in a spaceship, flying up into space, landing on another planet, exploring it and like space dinosaurs and stuff. It looks really cool. And they dropped a bit of a bomb with Rockstar. Rockstar, which has n had nothing else to announce anywhere at E3 so far. They did announce Grand Theft Auto V is going to be on PS4 and I think also PC. Uh, and yeah, cool. Cool. You know, cool. One thing I was a little bit disappointed was the lack of Morpheus, you know, the, the whole VR thing. This was their time to really show it off and convince people, unless it's just super, super early prototype, which it just might be. They might have really just put this thing out there to try and kick Oculus in the dick, but uh, it's not working if they're not showing anything for it. The, the order actually totally blew me away because it was something that I thought it looked pretty, but I just wasn't convinced yet. Uh, the gameplay that we saw was actually really spooky and really intense and really cinematic. And I was totally into it. I'm, I'm, I'm totally on board for the order now, 100%. We also got to see gameplay from Mortal Kombat X, fights with Sub-Zero and Scorpion, and two new characters that actually fit in really well, and they were really cool. You guys saw it. It looks really cool. Yeah, I should probably repeat that. You guys have seen this, so I'm just reiterating what I thought was really exciting. But, like, the bone-crunching punches, especially seeing it at the Sony press conference with the big sound, it, like, you, oof, you felt it. Like, you felt jaws breaking and hearts being ripped out. Uh, we got to see Uncharted 4, which... That's really cool. I thought it was kind of like up in the air if they were going to show it or not, but they did. And Nathan Drake, he's there and, you know, he's cool. He's really cool. He's got like a V-neck and like a gun and he goes into like a spooky jungle. You know, Nathan Drake versus the spooky jungle. Uh, the, uh, the Thieves End is the title and I think that's really cool. Maybe he dies. Maybe he doesn't. Probably doesn't because money. Dead Island 2 is also a thing and I give them props for at least showing a trailer that wasn't like a super serious off-putting trailer. And I really enjoyed Batman Arkham Knight. You guys saw the gameplay. It was insane. It was absolutely crazy. The Batmobile looks cool, but uh, you know, I'm not really a fan of when it can convert to tank mode and it, it changes to tank warfare battles in the streets of Gotham. That was really off-putting, but the game looks fantastic. Batman looks crazy good. Uh, Gotham is insane. It, it just, it's perfect. It really, it really looks great. And, and it's awesome that it got it delayed. So be it. Take the delay. So boom, I ran through all the press conferences, what was announced, like I said, it's a lot to process and I wanna know what you guys think in the comments. Definitely be sure to let me know. Let me know what I missed, you know, there was so much to touch on and of course, a lot of these things that were announced, I'm going to be able to play at E3, so be sure to check back because I'm, I'm gonna be making preview videos of things I played and stuff like that. It's gonna be really cool. I'm also really exhausted. But for now, like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the press conferences. Let me know what your favorite one was. But I do wanna say thank you to you guys for watching me and, and being nice to me because I was able to get myself to E3 because of y'all. But other than that, like I said, let me know in the comments what you thought. And as always, guys, I'm Jake Baldino. You can like me on Facebook, you can yell at me on Twitter, and you can subscribe because video games.